Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. Today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to go through every Premier League home shirt and rank it out of 10. So anyway guys, let's get straight down to this video. You know what you can do, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So kick off alpha better. we're going to kick off with Bournemouth. Bournemouth, I do like the um, the stripes going down it, the black stripes, the black ziggy saggy stripes. I do say they more ziggy saggy than some of the other kits in this uh, video, but I do like ziggy saggy stripes. I like the red arm um, sleeve and the black arm sleeve. Very nice design there by um, Umbro. I'm going to rank it a 6 out of 10 for Arsenal. Also, I do like the, you know, the C stripes up on the collar. I'm not a really big fan of the collar and the football tops. I never have been really. As you can tell by the picture I've showed you or showing you, I like the red under the sleeve as well. Something different about the Arsenal kit this season. Um, you know, but a very nice shirt indeed. I'm going to rank it from Adidas. 5 out of 10. I think like that colour just puts me off a little bit. Next up, Aston Villa. Now with this picture, I can tell a bit by the sleeves. Pretty much, I don't, you know, I don't know what the sleeves are going to be. Obviously going to be sponsored by Casino again. Castle's their main kit, uh, make the kit I'm guessing. Very plain. I like the light blue around the collar. Um, but set from that, it's just very plain. And as I look at this image as well, there's a few little circles. I don't quite know what that means if you're a fair fan, please let me know. But I think it's a very plain kit, very bad designed by Castle. Um, and I'm going to go for a low ranking, unfortunately. And I'm going to make it 3 out of 10. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if you feel hard about that, but I just. I mind you, before I move on, I want to just in the um, stripes down in the centre. That's something different. I can't make it a 4 out of 10. Brentford. Now, red and white, obviously, they're home colour. Very nice indeed. I do like this year's season uh, kit. The real, really well sub barn, bro. Um, the Hollywood, obviously, they're known as sponsor in the centre of the show. The red, I like the white in the collar. Um, it's not like a proper collar, but it's still like a football collar, the way I like my shirts. I do like it. I really do like the uh, Brentford kit this year. Nice little uh, Brentford badge there as well, um, with the Umbro beside it. I do like the shirt, I've got to say. Um, I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. A really nice shirt by, uh, done by Umbro. Um, but, you know... Let's see what happens with the season with them. Next up, my club, Brighton. Now, we've had a mixed reports about this with the um, Ohio supporters, funny enough. This year's shirt, I do like it. I really do like the uh, Brian Lave Albion home shirt. Uh, I like the you know, stripe going down the middle. I like the blue and the white. I like everything about this shirt. And that's not only on no, I'm just saying this because I'm a Brighton fan. I do actually really like the shirt. There's a few other shirts I like this season as well from other clubs. One being Brentford, who I've just mentioned. I do like the yellow collar as well. I like everything about this shirt. I sh should hopefully be getting my hands on it very soon. Um, but we have to wait and see when I get it. But as I said, I do like this shirt. Quickly move on. 8 out of 10. Well done by Nike. I don't think it's bad um, as people make out. I know some people have changed their mind after seeing it at the friendly on the weekend as well. Next up, Chelsea. Now, a few couple England lady players there doing very well in the um, you know uh, women's Euros semi-finals being played tomorrow as I'm recording this. Very very nice shirt done by Chelsea as well. I like the white collar. I like that little thing they got on the collar as well. Um, doing very well by Kirby and Bright and, you know, a few other people. Reese James, I think there might be a training gear in this picture. But a very nice shirt indeed, done by Nike. 
Yeah, again, another sponsor um, with Nike on it. I'm going to rank it 5 out of 10. Um, only trouble is I can't see the back, so that's why I've had to give it a bit, bit of a low ranking. But, you know, it's 5 out of 10 for me. I don't think that's a bad ranking. Um, but put all your rankings down in the comments below. Next up, Crystal Palace. Now, I can see, like, Palace fans have a band with Brighton fans, like we do every year. Um, you know, like, height and banter. Um, about our home shirt, about our way. Um, I've done the, a review on the Brighton Way shirt on my channel as well. I'll make that pop up at the end of the video. And, you know, vice versa. And, you know, I can see us a little banner. One thing I don't like about this Palace shirt, and it's not to do with Palace itself, it's to actually do with the kit. What in the right frame of mind, whoever their sponsor was, I don't quite know who that logo is, I'm sure it looked up. When I know what we're going to do, we're going to do a red and blue top, stripy top, and then we're going to make it look like a six year old kid has scribbled on it. That's the one thing I don't like, and that is, you know, one of the things I really don't like about this year's Palace uh, show. I don't even know why one as well, but that's going to be our banter, I think. Who in the right mind, blue and red top, and then go, we're going to make a six-year-old kid scribble all over it and make it come out like that. Very bad um, Palace ranking on that. I've got to give it, because I'm only ranking on the shirt itself. Um, you know, the way it looks. Other, everything else, I think it looks a lot. A lot yeah, a lot of that sort of colour anyway. Um, but anyway, because of that, and it's the main bit of the kit, three out of ten. Everton next up, um, very nice Everton kit. I could tell by this. I'm not sure if she's a woman player. Sorry if I do miss any players or, you know, please forgive me. I like the white under the arm. I like the design in the shirt. You know where it. I think that's um, Gordon in the middle. Sorry if I miss Mr. Daken again. Um, I do like the design in the shirt, very nice shirt, very nice bit of white. I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 I think. Very nice shirt there by Everton, um, fair play to Huma for doing that. Next up, Leagues, surviving Leagues by the skin of their teeth last game of the season. Adidas, their main sponsor. Now, when you're sponsored by Adidas, I've realised this a lot with the clubs over the years. When you're with Adidas, you're always going to have the three stripes on the top. No matter which, whether you're Arsenal, Leeds, or whoever else, you know, the stripes are on the top. But a very nice design shirt by uh, Adidas this year for Leeds United. Um, I like the blue and the white in the um, arm sleeve. I think that's why it might be yellow, but can't tell from the pitch. But anyway, I do like that. As you can tell by the one on the left hand side, it stops about half and then goes back to plain white. Fair enough, lovely uh, bit there as well. Lovely bit of sponsor. Um, very nice collar around the head as well. Adidas on the left, leagues on the right. Um, very nice. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. That's the next up. Um, now, very nice shirt. As I said, I don't like the collars on my shirt. It may just be me. I know a few other fans don't like collars on their shirts. That's the only let down by only dust with this Esther shirt, as far as I could think. Um, very nice blue and white. Funny enough, bright in colours, but, you know, less far too. Um, but a very nice kit indeed. The only bit I don't like is that collar. And I'm going to have to maybe rank it a 5 out of 10. Sorry, I just don't like that colour. Liverpool next up. Good picture here with Van Dyke. Um, very plain red for Liverpool, obviously being red is their colour. The only bit I really do like maybe in this shirt is the, uh, the pattern in the kit. You know, Van Dyke's presenting that very well. See all the stick, like the pattern in the kit, and so could you, hopefully, in this picture. Um, but yeah, very nice kit indeed. Um, from Liverpool, just very plainly red. 
um, right up to it's their home kit so it's got to be red um, it's very hard to change a home kit this season but or any season in fact but I'm going to rank it a 5 out of 10 again um, I trust for the kids to be playing anyway as I said I can't see where it looks like on the back which is unfortunate City next up now with City very uh, red around the collar um, red arm sleeves uh, light blue um, baby blue I think it's called as well um, very nice kit with City this season would, would I change anything about it probably not Puma on the arm Puma maybe one or two many Pumas but hey I've asked Pumas design they could do what they want very nice kit I'm going to rank it a 7 out of 10 for City United next up Good picture here, Marcus Rashford presenting the main light kit of the 20-23 season. Nice kit, uh, you know, I don't think it's that bad. Yet again, it's the collar. What is it with sponsors coming out with the collar kits? I don't get it, Mind you, the late 90s. No disrespect to Adidas, but what do you think when you do this? I remember Brighton doing it a couple of years ago. And basically just saying, yeah, we're going to put a uh, collar on it. And I don't think it went, excuse me, de uh, went down well with the fans. But, you know, they got rid of it and thank goodness they have done. Um, and hopefully they won't bring it back. But I don't know one knows the future, except for people that work for these companies. So we're going to have to wait and see. But to the kit, anyway, yeah, again, it's the collar. What are they doing with the collar? Black stripes, really. I can, yeah, mean I love red and black, I suppose. Um, but I'm gonna make it a five out of ten. Newcastle next up, and um, yet again another kit done by Castle. Now, unlike the last kit that was done by Castle, I can't remember who it was. I know it's in this video, but this is a very, very nice kit for Newcastle this season. Got the black and white stripes, which is abnormal. You know, red, black, and white the magpies black and white collar yeah again i like this sort of collar the black and the white really does actually you know suit the kit black on the shoulder or both of them the sponsor this you know the sleeve sponsor i'm not don't think it's actually on the kit but it's still a very nice kit indeed and i am going to rank it seven out of ten Forest is next up, Newly Woods Forest. Um, ain't got no sponsor, far as I can see. I'm not sure whether that's because when they were doing this uh, photo shoot, they didn't have one, but you know, let's forget about that. Very plainly red. Uh, I, ain't, I don't want to talk about too much about this, if I'm being brutally honest, but very plain. I'm probably going to have to rank it. Uh, 5 out of 10. Southampton next up. Um, now Southampton or Shima have done something very different with the home kit this year for Southampton. Instead of being red and white stripes, they've gone, obviously you can see the picture anyway, red down the middle, white everywhere else, a nice pattern to, you know, on the white as well. Very nice kit done by Southampton and Shima this year, um, but I'm going to have to rank it. 7 out of 10 because I really do like the kit. The black collar, everything about the kit is beautiful. Um, fair play to Hero. Um, you know, this season for designing that kit for Southampton. Next up, Tottenham. Now I have, obviously you know all about the Tottenham thing. That it's in my family now. Obviously if not, go back and watch the Tottenham vlog. I'll make that pop up at the end of this video as well. Um, it's all in there. But anyway, back to the kit. Um, very nice kit done by Tottenham. I think that's yellow where it looks white on the arm sleeve. Blue blue. Very nice kit done by Tottenham. I'm going to go for a 6 out of 10. West Ham next up. Um, now, I've, I've got mixed feelings about this kit. It looks better in the picture. I still don't like the top. The light bluey white top on the shoulder. I don't like that. Um, not, neither will I buy anyway because I'm not a West Ham fan but I really don't like that this year um, I've seen a few West Ham fans go out buy the top and go it's actually better in real life um, but you know that's their opinion this is just mine I'm going to rank it a 
4 out of 10, just that blue, oh, I don't like that. I'll start Wolves. Now, Wolves, obviously yellow being in the home um, kit. Castle being their design. Uh, very nice kit, very plain again. I'm going to rank it at 5 out of 10. But anyway guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So guys, you know what to do. Give a big fuck thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.